Hey guys, it's May May. And yesterday for me would have been Thursday for you guys. I received some cards in the mail, some birthday cards and just some cards. And I think several of you wanted to see this one made. If I remember, there were a lot of you guys asking for some cards to be made. I think this was one of them. Ironically, two of them came very similar. So I want to show you this card. I've never made one of these on my channel before. I don't know why, but I'm going to show you how this works. So this card opens like this. Isn't this cute? See that? It's really neat. And this one was made for me by Bridget. And this card opens the same. And this was made for me by Belinda and London. But there is a little bit of difference. So Belinda and London's card is slightly smaller than Bridget's. Bridget's card fills up an A2 envelope, which this one will fit in an A2 envelope too. It doesn't make a difference. But I think I'm going to do this one just because I want some more space right here um, because of the paper pack I'm going to use. But I could totally do this one if I was using, especially if you're using a pattern like this. This is perfect because you don't really have to keep so many images in there. I love how that works. So both of these cards are fantastic, but this is the one I'm going to mimic my size for because of my paper pack. So we'll get to that in a second. And let me show you the paper pack I'm using. The Summer Market is the most beautiful paper pack. And all these stickers, I want to play. So this is the one we're using today. All right, first things first, you're going to need a piece of cardstock. Now, this cardstock is 12 by 5 and a half. And I will tell you that I'm doing mine a little bit different than how Bridget's was done, but this just works for me. So if you saw these done somewhere else, they might have been done a little bit different, but I don't want to have to cut anything off of this. So I'm going to make this whole 12 inches work for me. So you'll need 12 by five and a half and your scoreboard. Super easy to do, okay? I'm going to score this and then I'm going to show you it um, drawn, okay? Because I've drawn it out for you too, but I'm going to show you how this works. Let's flip this over so you're not looking at my measurements. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to score at four and one fourth. So right here, four and one fourth. Your next score is going to be seven and three fourths. So right here, and your next score is going to be 11 and one fourth. Now this is where um, Brid uh, Bridget's card is a little different because she has a much smaller flap here. If you wanted to cut away some excess, you can, but I'm just going to leave this here and use all of that instead of cutting any of it away. All right, so there's your scores there. Now we're going to turn it, okay, and we're going to score it at the top of the card. Let me show you my drawn piece so it'll make sense. So these are the scores you just did, the four and a quarter, seven and three fourths, and then the 11 and one fourth. Now we're gonna do these scores across the top here, and I'll show you where those go. So your first one, you're gonna score at half an inch all the way to your last score mark, okay? And you're gonna stop at that score mark. Let me move this up. You can see you're gonna stop right there, okay? Your next one is super short. You're gonna score at one and one fourth to your first score mark. All right, so you've got your half inch all the way to your score mark here, and then your one and one fourth all the way to that first score mark. Let me show you the drawn piece again so it'll make sense, okay? So these are the two we just did. I'll turn it sideways so it makes sense. So we did this one and we did this one, okay? It's easy. Once you get those done, this will fly through. You'll have a card in no time. All right, you're gonna need your scissors. And I do not have the right scissors today. I just have my little ones because my big ones are being used for ribbon cutting for wreath kits. So here's the deal. We're going to cut this little section here away. So there's your first little score mark, right? You know what? I'm going to cut it on my one with lines so you can see it. Let's do that. All right. So first, we're going to cut this section away. And this is one of those places where you guys ask me all the time, am I cutting in the ditch of the score mark or beside it? I'm going to cut the score mark off of the card. You don't need the score mark in this area, so I'm going to cut it away. All right, so we just finished making that little snip right there. So I cut that section off, okay? Now I'm going to cut this section off, and this is where you really need your long scissors, but we're going to make this work. You could do this with your trimmer if you wanted to, um, but I'm just going to muddle through cutting this off. So I've just cut that whole piece away. So you basically end up with like a stair step. Does that make sense? All right, for folding, here's what you'll do. This piece will fold back on itself and we'll crease that down. All right, and then this piece will fold back. You're just accordion folding this. Accordion folding, I never say that right. Accordion folding. And then we're just gonna fold that flap in. Now you'll need one more little piece of cardstock. And this piece is two and three-fourths by four and one-fourth. 
and it's going to get glued right here. Now, I want to tell you, do not worry about the measurements, okay? Um, all of that will be in the blog post that we'll link below for you so you can get all these measures and scores. So this will glue here onto that flap. I'm not going to glue this piece down here because I need it on my clean one since I cut the one I drew on. Let me make those cuts and we'll get right back together. So this is my clean one and now we're just going to glue our little flap down. So I'm just going to use my glue here on this flap. And remember on Bridget's card, her flap was not this large and I, I think that's um, a, maybe a good idea to do a smaller flap, but I didn't see any reason to cut any off. So I'm just going to leave it there and then I don't end up with a little wasted strip of cardstock. All right, this gets glued straight to that flap and you might want to lay it down, kind of size up the corners and make sure everything's laying nice and flush along the bottom and along the side. And that is the creation of your card base. Super easy. Now we just need to decorate it, right? Look how cute. Let me rub this down in the back. So there we go. So let's decide what we're putting where. So I'm going to treat this card like a tiny mini album, and I'm going to pick what I want on the front first, and then I'll go from there. I think that'll be fun. So let's look at these stickers. This little truck is yelling at me. I mean, yelling at me to pay attention. And it will fit on there, but it will be a tight fit. But I think it's really cute, especially if I put it up kind of high and put a sentiment under it. So I need to cut a piece of cardstock to mat underneath it. So let me put this back for a few minutes while I pick what color I want to go underneath it or what pattern. And let me just make sure that's what I want because look at this one. Look at this. Oh, guys, I like the I like the um, picture better. I'm going to I mean the window better. I think I'm going to use the window. So let's pick the paper we want to go underneath the window. So I found this piece that looks like shiplap, which is absolutely gorgeous. And I think what I'm going to do, I definitely want it to be under my window here, but I think I want it to be my um, piece for every one of the panels. So I'm going to go ahead and cut all those pieces I need. Now I'll have the measurements for you in the blog post and I'll tell you them in the video also, but I'm just going to cut them real quick and we'll get to that. So I've got all my panel pieces cut and I'm going to tell you the size as I glue them down. Okay. So this one here is two and a half by four and I cut two of these because I'm going to put one on the front and the back of this flap. It's funny that the same little window or the little cart that they, that um, I want to put on the front of this card is the other side of this paper. So it seems like it's perfect for that, right? So you just center that on your little flap. So you will have that little edge. See, isn't that pretty? Love it. Okay. Then I'm going to put one on the inside. And this is what's going to cover our little flap piece we have there. So you won't even know that we flapped this together. In Bridget and Belinda and London's card, I could hardly see the flap. And I was like, wow, how did they hide that flap so well? But once you put all the pretties on, you don't see it. It just kind of goes away. All right. Now, this little piece here should be, hang on, let me get it laid right. This one should be three and a quarter by four and three fourths, but I cut mine wrong, but I'm still gonna go with it. I'm not gonna stress about it. So my top and bottom is gonna be a little off on my pieces, but I'm not gonna slow down. But when you do it, make sure you do this piece three and one fourth by four and three fourths, and then you'll have it right. I cut mine a quarter of an inch short, and I'm not gonna cut a whole other piece of paper for this. I just don't think that's that big of a mistake. So mistakes happen, right? Okay, I cut two pieces for this panel. But I don't know if I'm going to do that. I'm going to put one on the front for sure. I cut a second one because I thought I might want to put it on the back, but we'll see. So I'm going to glue this guy down. So y'all tell me, leave mistakes in. And that mistake is one of those where it's like, look, do I, do I love the paper enough to waste it? And I love this paper too much to waste it. So we're just going to go with it. And who knows, I might can find a way to even disguise it. So look, you have the front flap done, the inside, both pieces here, and then you can decide about this one. Let's put it on. I have the piece cut. Let's put it on. I think it'll be cute. I love this shiplap look. That's something I've never decorated with in my home. I should try it. I like shiplap, but again, I'm behind the trend, <laughs> as always. Look how cute that is. Okay, so now we can put go back to our sticker, and let's just see if we want to put our sticker straight down, or if we want to put something behind it. Look how cute that is on that little... um on that little piece, but I think I want to mat this onto a piece so it'll really pop. So let me get that. So because I really want to see this little image on the card and I feel like the white on the shiplap just kind of doesn't do that, I just have a piece of scrap black and I'm going to stick this down to this and then fussy cut around it with just a little bubble cut. I don't need too much. I just want 
kind of a little black line around it so it'll really pop off the page. You guys have seen me do this kind of stuff in mini albums before. This is something I love to do. And if you have a brother scan and cut, you can stick a sticker down to a page just like this, load this in your scan and cut, and then set it to have an offset. And when you do that, your scan and cut will do this for you because it will cut offset of the sticker and leave you this little black edge or whatever color cardstock you put underneath it. But if you ever see that you're having trouble with your images really popping, or if you kind of wonder why do my images not stand out like other people's do, a lot of times they take just a minute or two to do this extra step. And this really helps pictures or stamps or stickers or whatever you're putting down to pop. It's just like whenever we put layers on the fronts of our cards, the more layers, the more our images really show. Boom, done, that was not too bad. Okay, let's see. All right, see the difference? Look how that's just like having a shadow and it just really pops off the page. That's what we want. Let's see if we can find a little sentiment or something to put here at the bottom. So look at this little guy that says sweet summertime. Isn't that cute? I kind of like it even coming from one side. I think it's gonna need to be popped up on that as well. So let's put it on some black paper too. I have a big old piece. We're just gonna keep using it. Now this one, I can be super careful with. Watch this. So for this little guy, I can use my We Are Layers guides and cut this out and get a nice straight line. I'm just going to slice this guy away. With the layer guide, what you do is you lay it right next to the sticker. And when you do that, mm, I did not cut through very well. One moment. There we go. When you do that, um, it gives you the, the perfect space between the sticker and the cardstock because it has this little lip that will catch just like that. So by using the layers guides, we get this perfect little 1 16th edge all the way around, and that'll be super cute on our card. I got a little bit of fuzziness. Right here, I didn't do such a good job. I'm going to trim that with my scissors a tiny bit. Okay, let's take that to our card. I think I might pop both of these up. I think that might be cute and maybe put that on an angle like so. Let's get some foam. So if you're on my live show the other day, you'll know that my foam tape roll, or roll my Scotty foam, has a birthday coming up in July. <laughs> on July 4th, it'll be a year old, and I still have at least half of it left, if not more. That was such a good idea. One of my viewers, Terrence, suggested that I write the date on it when I open it for the first time or when I start using it for the first time. And I'm so glad he said that because now I know exactly how old it is, and I think it's fun to kind of see how long it will last. It's an investment piece, but I use it a lot and it lasts a long time. All right, so peel off these backers and then place these down. Pick this guy up and I wanna put it sort of toward the top, like so, gosh, that's cute. And I think I want this to be kind of angled, maybe even touching or overlapping it, just like that. That's cute. Open sweet summertime, please sweet summertime, right? It's kind of getting hot here though. All right, let's do the inside flap. Let's see what's going in there. So for the inside, I'm gonna build a little scene here and I'm gonna use this little pink lemonade jar and I'm gonna put these little guys with it, like these little um, raspberries, but I'm gonna wanna cut them out on some black. So let me bring my black piece of paper back over and I'll put these down here at the bottom. And this way, I can cut around them as if they're one sticker instead of two. So then that little guy is ready to stick down there. And then I have these little sentiments and it says, fresh sunny days. I think that'll be cute underneath. So let's see if we can get those off of me real quick. And I'm gonna glue this straight down. I'm not gonna pop this up on dimensional foam. And the reason is it's gonna be inside the card. So this card's gonna be thick enough as it is. I really don't need to have too much foam on the inside. Let's just glue this guy down. So cute. And then I wanna do sunny days. Oops, don't stick, thank you. Sunny days and then the word fresh right here. So fresh sunny days, that's so cute. So, so far we have that. Two more panels, this one and then this one. So I have this little floral sticker that I'm gonna run down the middle of this card a couple times, let me show you. So I'm gonna place it about like this and run it down to the bottom there, and I'm gonna cut that away. Stick that down, and then I'm gonna skip a little bit of space and run it one more time, trying to kind of eyeball that everything is fairly even. And this is gonna be the background for a sticker I found on the sticker sheet that I think will really be key right here. 
So this little sticker that I found matches that um, strip and it has a little sentiment on it. And I think this will be so cute to place it here, kind of like it was hanging on the wall. That makes sense. I think that'd be cute. Let me lift that up. It's not exactly where I want it. Get those rubbed back down. Okay. And this is about the same width. There we go. Now it's right. And see, that's cute, isn't it? And then the flap covers it, but you see the little stripe above it. And then when you open it, there it is. All right, let's do this side. Another sticker I have to use is this little moped, but I got to trim it in some black so it'll really pop. So I'm going to stick it on my black and cut this out as well. You know I had to use that little scooter. It's too cute. So I cut out around it with the black cardstock. Now I'm just going to put it on some glue or put some glue on it and stick it down. And then I found this little sticker. It's not super little. It's actually one of the bigger ones, but it says fun in the sun. And I think that is cute right there. Isn't that awesome? Don't you love stickers? They make things so cute. And then we're just to the back. Now you can decide here if you want to make another scene or if you want to put a place for you to sign the card or what have you. I think I'm going to do a little bit of both. I think I'm going to cut myself a piece to sign right in here and then kind of decorate this side. So let me do that. So I cut this little piece three by four and a quarter and that way I can mount it in the corner with a little bit of an edge and this guy will close over it so my sentiment is still hidden. It doesn't really matter, but I thought that'd be cute. And now I'm gonna decorate around it. So let's go back to the sticker sheet. So instead of the sticker sheet, I decided to go to this little um, sheet that has the stripes. I'm gonna take this one off and this one off and see if I can use them. No, I think I'll leave the strawberries. Maybe I'll use these two floral pieces here. So I'm gonna trim those out and see how I can use them. I don't wanna use anything that, the reason I didn't wanna use the strawberries is they have an orientation and I need them, I need this to go up and down and those strawberries wouldn't really lend themselves to that well, but this floral will, cause flowers can lay in any direction. So let's trim this away. And I may not need the whole width of it, but let's just see what we can use. So I'm thinking I can lay a panel down like this and then this on top of that, either in the middle or over to one side. And then we'll put this little guy over here in the corner to ride on. And that way it still leaves me some of the yellow sticking out of it as well. But then when we close the card, it looks like that. I really like that. I think that's pretty. And we can always add more. All right, so I'm going to cut these down. And these will need to be five and a quarter. So let's do that real quick. So I'm going to glue these little guys in. This paper pack is dreamy. And there's still plenty of stickers to make more of these cards with. They're so pretty on there. Let's put this guy out here a little bit like so. And this one on top. I'm going to go ahead and center it. That's kind of how we laid it out. And then this can go right here for me to be able to have a spot to write on. Now let's see if I want to add a little sticker on top of that white spot. I think it would really kind of pop it up a little bit and give it a little interest. Um, oh, a perfect one, a perfect one. This says, hello, sunshine. It's perfect for right there. And then you can write to your friend that you're going to call sunshine in this card. Okay, so there's our little hello, sun, sunshine, and we have our little place to write to our recipient. But I think I want to add something here because it's a little plain on that piece. So I'm just going to look and see what I can find that can go there. There are these cute little um, images of fruit and things like that, which might be cute. And here's some little flowers. Let's see how they look in here. Just kind of tucked in, in and around. Ooh, that's cute. Tucked like that. Here's another little grouping of flowers. And I don't think it's going to hurt the, the image that I have underneath at all. It'll just add to it. So let's see what else we got. There's a little strawberry and another little rose with some leaves. I'll put it in this area. And that gives a little more interest on all that white I had right there. And it doesn't hurt the page at all. I think it's super cute. You could add some here if you wanted to too, but I think I'm okay. And that just gives me a little more interest on the front. So there you go, guys. That is my card. Now, there was one thing I wanted to show you that Bridget did in hers that was a little bit different. And right in here, she made a pocket and put a tag, which I missed in my Thursday show, but I saw it today. And Bridget, if you're watching, I read the back of it. Thank you so much. But she just took a piece of cardstock and glued three sides down and then made this little piece. It's so cute. That is Bridget's card. And let me go back and show you Belinda and London's card. This is their card. If you missed our show on Thursday, our after show when we opened these, the cutest story about London. So Belinda and London play 
May May Made It. They play making our videos. And Belinda plays me, but London always wants to be Vinny because she wants to say, oh, Vinny's here. So that is so cute to me. So I love these cards. Thank y'all for inspiring mine. Yours are much better than mine. They always are. <laughs> it's just how it is. But I thought it would be a cool thing to show you today. So if you guys wanted to make this little step card, there you go. Now you know how. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I really want you guys to subscribe. We're trying to reach 300,000 subscribers and we're not close, but we're not far away. And don't forget to like the video too. When you like the video, it lets other people know that this might be a video they want to watch as well. And if you make a card like this, share it with us on our customer gallery at May May Made It. I'd love to see what you guys are doing. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. Until next time. Bye-bye.